Perfect. Okay, so let's get to um, sharing screen. Mm, which I can't find at the moment. So let's just see where I can. All of a sudden, my share screen. Oh, here we go. Right. It was somehow gone. Let's go. So I'll call it up and then you can all tell me if you can see it. Can you have, can you see it, everyone? Great. Good. Okay. So let's get cracking. Let's not waste any time. So year-end staff reviews is what I'm going to quickly go through with you today. Okay. So we have six more weeks of this, by the way, everybody. So I hope that by now, all of you that are attending this know what these um, words mean, okay? Or sorry, what this simple symbol means. And it is our word of 2023, which is amplify. I can't wait to tell you what 2024's word is, but I'm obviously not going to do that yet because we're not there yet, okay? But this year, we have spent our year together focused on amplifying everything in our lives. Remember, being a part of Spa Professionals Guild is not just being your business coach, being your business mentor, helping you with updated tools and templates to make you running your business easier. But it's also a community where we come together to build each other up in our personal capacities as well. So I've been encouraging you all since January to amplify everything that you do, whether it's amplification of your of how you deal with your children or how involved you are with your children's dancing shows or sports activities or whatever it is. So the whole idea behind this year was let's take whatever it is that we do. And it doesn't mean only in our workplace. And let's amplify it. So I want you to think, as we move into the last couple of weeks of this year, is have you managed to amplify everything that you have done this year? If not, I want to tell you that you still have five, six weeks. You still have six weeks. Use those six weeks to end off this year saying, I have amplified my life my business, my communication skills, my friendships, my diet, whatever it is, okay? But use these last couple of weeks to really live this word, okay? So as you all know, please can I ask you all to make sure that you don't have distractions. The, the whole reason why we do these coaching sessions is so that you can really benefit from it. If you've got phones ringing, children running around, or staff that can interrupt you, the chances are that you're going to miss bits and pieces and the session is going to be broken and really disjointed for you. So please, everyone, um, give me your focus for the next couple of minutes and let's make this time that you're taking out of your busy lives count. Okay. Right. So as you all know, this is happening, right? Oh, yes, it is. My question to you is, how do you feel? Are you ready? Are you ready for the biggest spend event of the year? Are you feeling amped? In fact, go into the chat box and just type. Are you feeling amped? Are you feeling scared? Are you feeling excited? Are you, how are you feeling right now? And it will be interesting for me to see the different comments that are going to come from, I suppose, what you do in your particular position is going to determine how you're feeling about this biggest spend event of the year. So don't be shy. Let's chat. Let me know how you are feeling about this. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So Lila is keen to make some shmoney. I love that. Good. Nice. Okay. So I see Liz and... Okay. Who's on? Is it Liz or Natalie? Because I only saw one person on. Is it Liz or Natalie? Who is it? Anxious. Okay. Because I'm getting quite a lot of those um, kind of comments of people saying, feeling a little bit anxious at this time of year. 
Okay, Bianca, excited and a little nervous. Okay, so that's all absolutely normal, everyone. So I want to show you some pictures and I want you to say to me, me or yes, if you're feeling like the following pictures I'm going to show you. Okay, if you're not, you just don't comment at all. Okay, Michelle, so ready, but understaffed. Yep, I'm hearing that a lot, Michelle. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. I'm boiling. I have to clip my hair up. I'm very sorry, everybody. Whew. Okay, all right. So Vera's already taken off by saying yes, she's feeling like this. Okay, I'm moving on to show you some other pictures. Anybody feeling like this? I've got a few more. So I think by the end of my pictures, I think I've got one more or two more. I should be getting pretty much yeses from everyone. Okay, anybody feeling like this? Or anybody feeling like this? This is a tired one. Oh, I need to sleep. No amount of coffee are going to keep me awake. Yes, you see? Okay, so I suppose you're either feeling a little bit like you're drowning Okay, because of the volume of work that needs to be done. You're feeling overwhelmed. The slide shows overwhelmed because there is just so, you're being pulled in every single direction that you can go in, right? Or you're feeling really, really tired at this point. Okay, so to add to all of these feelings of yours, I'm going to throw in something else that might just take how you're feeling and probably amplify it yes of course because that's our word of the year right so 2024 is loading everyone it's at our doorstep and how does that make you feel you don't need to answer so my questions to you are do you feel that you are fully prepared for 2024 yet okay if your answer is no not fully prepared then today has come at the perfect time for you, okay? Because really what I'm going to do is inspire and motivate you to get yourself ready and to see that if you take two or three days in this crazy time, to, and that's all you need, two or three days, but you need to book it and you need to commit, that you will start 2024 off super strong. Okay, and I just want to remind you of a, of a, a saying or a quote that says, that how you start your race is how you finish it. So if you start unprepared, overwhelmed, anxious, and exhausted, that is how your year is going to end. And I want us all to change that and to make the resolution together to say that we are going to start strong and we are going to start prepared. Okay, so my job today is I am going to go through all the reasons why you should be doing these reviews at this time of year. Okay, I'm going to give you the reasons why. And I think after you see my reasons, you're going to say to yourself, okay, done and dusted. It doesn't matter if I feel overwhelmed, I'm going to do it. Okay. First of all, your team... Okay, each individual member of your team feels that they are heard. So I want you to, the slides I'm going to show you is how your staff and your team feels when you do these reviews, okay? These, these are the words that they use to describe the reviews. And I'm not putting this here because I think this is how they feel. This is how throughout the year, the feedback I've had from team members that I've done reviews with. So they feel they are heard. I am heard, okay? I am valued. This is how they feel. Energy boost to finish the year strong, okay? These are the reasons why you should be doing the reviews, by the way. So by you doing a review, you give them an energy boost. It's like putting a little battery, like you can see on this lady's back, onto everybody's back. That just gives them that fuel to finish the year off super strong. Time to think. I've had enough time to let it sink in before the new year starts. 
Remember, if you start in January with a process that I'm going to show you today, they haven't, nobody, never mind your team, not even you have had time to think about the information that you've shared before the start of the race. So what happens is the race starts, starts on the 1st of January, 2024, but nobody's prepared. Nobody really knows, okay, where am I going? In which direction am I going? You start prepared. There's not, as you all know, preparation is the key to, to success, right? The better prepared you are for anything you do in, the, in your life, anything for that matter, the better the outcome of that which you are going to do. Okay. And then, very importantly, you start off with the right mindset. And that is what is important because the mindset you start off with is the mindset that you end with. Okay. This I'm going to show you later. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to set up your reviews because I don't want you to think, and then I'm going to do the review. I don't want you to think, I was going to do it the other way around, do the review and then show you how to set it up. But I'm worried that I show you how to do it and you go, oh my gosh, this is so hectic. So I want to tell you how to set them up first. First of all, set a date. And I'd like you all to, to really, really make the effort to set this date between today and Monday. Let's say, give yourself a deadline that Monday is your deadline to set your date for your reviews. What I'd like to encourage you to do is to see all of your staff either in one day or in two consecutive days. And the reason for that is that you know how you get into a mojo of things. So when you start doing performance reviews, you're like in that phase, right? You're in that groove. So it's better to get into it and stay in it than, than to split it, say, two hours every morning. It actually breaks the flow and the creativity and the energy that goes into these reviews. So do it either in one day or on two consecutive days. Then book out between 45 minutes per staff member at most. Okay, so here goes the, the, the actual timing. If you know your team members well and you've been working with them for long, 30 minutes is more than sufficient. If you have shorter time with them and they've got bigger challenges that you know, obviously you know each other's challenges, you need a little bit longer. But at the same time, I want to advise that you do not go over a 60 minute time frame. Why? People can't concentrate for that long. You start deviating from what's important after a 35, 40 minute session. By you knowing that the clock is ticking and you have 45 minutes, believe you me, you're gonna get down to business and you're gonna go into the meeting with the result that you want very quickly. You wanna get to that result, okay? Then send an invitation. And with that invitation to attend the review, the form that they are going to fill in. And I'm going to show you what that form looks like, okay? Because I've got a completed form that I'm going to work off today, okay? Now, you give a, your, your, the person you're giving the form to, you give them five days to complete it or four days. Just don't give it to them and say, can I have it back tomorrow? Okay, give them at least a three to four day period. And then give yourself two days to review the information and set up the structure of your plans for each team member. I'm going to show you what that those plans look like. So how it will work is they will fill in the form. They'll send it back to you. You will then review it and you will set up your structure of your plan, the meat in the plan will follow during the meeting, which is gonna happen now when I show you how to do that review. Okay, so isn't that super easy, everyone? How to set up your reviews? Right, very simple. You've got your slide here in front of you. If you need to get a reminder of this, you will have access to, to the recording afterwards to remind you how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to stop um, sharing my screen and I'm going to call up the form that I have given to a therapist to do this review with today. Okay, so I'm going to do a live review with you. 
Um, so let me call up my form. Give me one second. Okay. Can you see my Excel spreadsheet, everyone? Give me a thumbs up. Yes. Okay. Super. All right. So if I can call my therapist up, her name is Anna. So if Anna, you can please um, grace us with your lovely presence. So everyone, I'm going to tell you why I'm using Anna today <laughs> for this. Is um, I didn't. I asked about ten different people, and they weren't willing to do this. Out for real, real because of the fact that it's live, it is recorded, it is out there for everyone to hear. And I can respect that, okay? So what I did ask permission to do is, and we've hidden the name of the person, is I asked permission to use somebody's performance review and for Anna to pretend that she is that person. Okay, so, so hello, Anna, how are you? Hello, very well, thank you, and yourself? Very well, thanks. Okay, so Anna, thanks for filling in this form. Did you find it difficult? Was it challenging or was it okay? Um, it took me a little bit of time. I had to really think about um, how I completed it. Um, it was interesting. Okay. Okay, good. All right. And tell me how you're feeling. End of the year, we've got five weeks to go. How, can you give me a word or two to describe how you're feeling right now? super anxious um oh. and drowning um oh. but excited to make some serious money because i've got lots of christmas presents to buy oh okay well the money part you are certainly going to make because we are super fully booked and i think the drowning and anxious after our meeting today i have a feeling i mean it's not going to be fixed immediately but I think that going into the end of the year and starting off in January, if you and I make sure that we action the planner that I've drawn up for you, I have a feeling you're going to go into 2024 with a plan, ready, and then you can focus on everything that you have said in this review fully go in, in the new year. Okay, how does that sound to you? Does it sound like it could be quite exciting? Uh, very much so. I just really hope that you'll be able to help me because I, I need to fine tune my skills somehow. Okay. I, I know that I can help you. So it's not like a hope that I can help you. I definitely can help you. Okay. So Anna, your blocks are the yellow blocks. Okay. This is how you rated yourself. As we go through this sheet, I am going to, to rate you. And we're going to see where my blocks and my perception of you match what you perceive of yourself. Okay. okay. Remember, um, at the bottom of this sheet, just to help guide you, there is a little um, key guide here. So I'm sure you saw it. Yes, I did. Okay, great. So when we talk about work ethic, it's following policies and procedures, never being <laughs> never getting involved in employee gossip mm -hmm. and speaking to customers about the company and other employees. Okay, so you rated yourself excellent, that your work ethic is brilliant, okay? And I um, am going to rate you excellent too. I fully agree with that. So um, well done. Thank you for being such an amazing e example to the rest of the team. Um, I know that you take... Uh, things quite personally um, when things happen in our team but you've really managed to separate yourself from the gossip and from you know getting sucked into that uh, into that vortex and you always somehow um, seem to keep yourself separated and focused on on your job so well done with that okay. so you rated yourself um, on problem solving okay which is not quick to call a manager but solve problems on yourself uh, by yourself okay and find solutions to problems so you rated yourself as just meeting the expectation, and I am going to rate you exactly there as well. Okay. And the reason why I'm going to rate you there is because you are a little bit quick to come and call me when you're feeling stuck. Okay. So my plan for you going forward, and I don't want to focus on this plan because it's a small plan. 
Today, we are, we are bigger picture planning. But I want you from today onwards, when you approach me, I would like you to present me with one or two solutions to the problems that you come to me with. So not, oh my gosh, Marisa, um, my client has um, just told me, I don't know, to, she caught her, I don't know, whatever, somebody stealing out of her bag, and I'm not sure what to do with, oh my word, Marisa, this just happened. Um, should I do this or should I do that? So then mm -hmm. you so that I know that you have thought about it before you come to me. Does that sound easy enough? Yes, I think so. Okay, so I'm not asking you not to come to me. We're doing baby steps here. I'm saying to you, come to me, but come to me with a solution first okay, or I'm, one of two solutions. Okay, I'm really going to try to do that. Yeah, you know that I hate that word, so I think you should just take it back right now. <laughs> Okay, because that word really sucks and you know that it's forbidden here. Yeah? So you can just Sorry. go and put five pounds in the cookie jar. Sorry, how much? Five pounds. No, that's not fair. It is. Just don't no. say the word. No, five pounds is a lot of money. Well, go and put it in the cookie jar. Okay, so next one is teamwork. You've rated yourself excellent. I'm putting it right there as well. Achieving targets. So you say meeting expectations and I want to I've split it here so I'm giving you half because you are meeting your your service targets mm -hmm. and the other half in unsatisfactory because you are nowhere near your retail target would mm -hmm. you agree with, me with that we're going to talk about it don't worry about it yes do you yes. agree yes yes okay grooming and appearance you've given yourself excellent absolutely 100% agree with you. You always look outstanding, okay? Throughout the day, your makeup is on point. You are, uh, in fact, people comment about how on point you look. So well done again for being the most amazing example to the rest of the team. Thank you. Okay. Communication, you've given <laughs> yourself a good. I am going to put you in meeting expectation. And the reason I'm going to put you there is because you wait a little bit long before you communicate. So you get frustrated with some of your team members mm -hmm. and you, you, you tell me, but you don't tell them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you get frustrated with clients and you tell your, your team members, but you don't tell the client. So we're going to look at ways to improve your communication skills. Not that it's an issue. The other thing I want to tell you, is that why I want to put you in just in meeting expectation is because your retail target, just think about what I'm going to say to you now. Your retail target is not being met, perhaps, think about this, mm -hmm. because of a communication issue. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe you're not saying the right things to the client. Maybe mm -hmm. you're not are listening enough. Maybe you're not asking the right questions. And that's all boils down to communication, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not in the room with you, so I cannot say that that is the issue. What I can say is that your communication is not amazing. I mean, once we get you going, yes, you're great, but you take a bit long to, to open up your mouth, right? And okay. for me, this could be the reason that is tying you into not meeting your retail targets or actually not even coming anywhere near them. Okay, which leads us to the next one. You've marked yourself as meeting expectations with client follow-ups. I'm going to put it there too. Now, this is where I know and why I've marked you down on communication. You don't seem to like phoning clients. And that revolves around communication. Okay, so we're going to talk about that in a second. Initiative, you've marked yourself good. I I am going to disagree with you and I'm going to say excellent. You, for me, are always looking for things to do, taking initiative. If you see that something's left lying around, you pick it up and you, you move on. Um, yeah, so I, I really am going to mark you excellent there, okay? Innovation, you've marked yourself as in meeting expectation. I'm going to mark you exactly the same. And I have a feeling that the innovation isn't there because the communication is lacking. 
because I think they all tie into each other. The more you communicate, the more you get involved in your clients' lives, the more you're going to innovate because they're going to start talking to you more and you're going to start researching more on how to help them better and what to do for them. Make sense? Does that all flow? Yes. Okay, so results orientation, you've marked yourself good. I want you just to look at the bottom here. Results orientation says before and after picture driven. So I would like you to move to excellent, but you're not definitely. I'm just going to mark you on good because you haven't done the before and afters as a absolute habit. You're sort of when you remember you do it and when, I don't know, when you forget, you forget. So I want you to get into the habits and make it habit of showing clients their after results. Because at the end of the day, they love what they look like, right? Yeah. Do you think that we can get something to help us take better photos? Because they don't really always come out the same on my phone. So I suppose it puts me off. Um. Yeah, we could. What would you suggest though? Do you have any ideas? So um, I saw on TikTok the other day, um, somebody had like a, a, a like a round light um, and you could actually attach your phone to it. Um, okay, so are you saying that the lighting is the issue or the quality of the image is the issue? I think both really because I'm a little bit shaky when I take the photo, so I kind of need it to stand still and then I need to get the same type of lighting on each of my photos. Otherwise, my before and afters are just looking so vastly different. Okay. So can I make a suggestion that you go and research these lights or these tripods or whatever it is that you'd like? Bring me back some options. Um, I would say let's get one, test it. Everybody together, we have a little lesson, a little session on how to do these photos, and we almost set a standard for everyone. And if we see that that starts working, then, then there's your innovation, by the way. Because Great. we want to introduce that for everybody. So cool. Thank you. Okay. Cool. So um, <coughs> next one, self-confidence. You've marked as good. Okay. I agree with you fully. We want to get you to excellent. And I think as soon as you start your client calls and you improve your communication, your self-confidence is going to go up. Okay. okay. Then your reliability. I 1000% agree with you here. You've said excellent. We can always call you lastminute.com to come in. So well done for that. And flexibility. You say good. Whereas I would say that it's excellent. Is there any reason why you think, and let's go down to the bottom because maybe that's what it says, able to change and adapt easily without fuss or complaints. I think that you're good. Like when we ask you last minute to come in or we change clients in your column, you don't kick up too much of a fuss. Is it that you internalize that fuss that you're saying that it's good and I see you as excellent because you just don't complain and you do your thing? So I know I have to do it. So, um, and it's good for me, but inside um, it throws me a little bit because then I need to change how I plan my day. Um, and then I feel like I have to rush a little bit to change over my room if the treatments change. So it just throws me off a bit. Um, but I get it done, but I need to be able to be comfortable, more comfortable with those changes. Okay. Right. Got it. Cool. <laughs> okay. So look at that graph there. We have one, two, three and a half areas where we don't agree. Okay. One of those is where I see you as much better than what you see yourself, okay? And I can pretty much understand it because when your communication is down, it means that you're not feeling the way that I see you because you're internalizing it, okay? So it's really, and as well as initiative, sorry, you gave yourself good and I gave yourself excellent. The ones where we need to, and where I feel they flow into each other is retail targets and communication, okay? Okay. which tie into to client follow-up. In terms of grading um, the quality of your work, okay, I don't see anything here. You've marked yourself good and excellent in your various um, skills as a, as a therapist. I don't see anything here that we need to address and work at it. As you know, in this business, um, and especially in this particular business that I run, um, if um, doing pedicures is not your thing, I don't say that you don't have to do them, but they're rostered or given to you later, 
okay, or, or last, whereas they're given to the people who love it first. We don't get complaints, so I'm not going to focus right now. That's not what the purpose of this review is. So we're not going to chat about your skills. Okay. Yeah. okay. Then you've agreed on all of your um, ratings. Okay. You didn't strongly agree with any, any of them. Again, this is not the purpose of this review. So we're going to say, great, agree, lovely. Next year when we meet again, because remember, we had your review two months ago, by the way. Mm -hmm. so actually, this review is only due around March or April, but we are having this review. This is like a little extra add-on review to just get you ready because I know how you're feeling without you having explained to me that you're feeling anxious and overwhelmed and tired and all the rest of it. I just know how everybody's feeling at that time of year. So I really just want to gather you. Get your thoughts together, get your mindset ready and get a planner going for you. Okay, so the areas that require development for me, for you, okay, this is this is um, how I've ranked you, is retail, rebooking of clients and client follow-ups. Okay, you, now, you <laughs> said to your development are that you don't really like talking to clients over the phone, which you've told me before. Okay, you're not a phone kind of person. You prefer either to send messages or you prefer to talk to them face to face. Okay, but what happens there is you forget to rebook them straight after the treatment and then you don't really like to phone them afterwards because you don't want to get a booking. Okay, and retail is a big challenge and you've said you're not sure why. And then did you employ, did you um, uh, achieve your goals from the previous review? Again, it's only two months ago, but I did want to touch on it. So retail, no, but services, yes. So I just want to tell you that at your last review, your services target was also not being met. You've wrapped your head around it. You've started upselling like a champion and you've now meeting your service targets. It's just retail that we need to really um, focus and zone in on, okay? And that your training, you had some trainings that you wanted to do at your last uh, review and you've managed to get those done very, very efficiently, okay? Right, so I'm now going to show you the planner that I have developed for you and to see if you like this planner. Can you see my screen? Yes, thank you, I can. Okay, Devon. So I've made here what I call a planner for Anna. And this is based on what you marked yourself at, <laughs> I saw you, okay? And then you and I are now going to decide, is this going to be your planner or are we making any changes to this today? And if we're making changes to this today, lovely. Because remember, this is our planner. In fact, it's your planner with my guidance, but this is for you to get the year started right. Okay. So first of all, what I'd like you to do in the next four weeks, I do not want you to wait longer than that. So it's got to be really be done before Christmas. I want you to go and do your 2024 goal sheet. Okay. I'm going to remind you what it looks like. Okay. Just give me a sec. Okay. If you remember this sheet over here? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do need to do that again. Right. So can can you commit? This is Angelo's, but anyway, <laughs> can you commit to having this done for me in the next four weeks? Well, having yes. it done for you. Yes. Okay. So Anna, remember on this sheet, it is short term. Hmm bursts of goals so I don't want you to put that you want a house there when you want your house in five years time okay I want you to put on there I want to get five new clients so something that you know can happen in the next six months not longer than that okay because we're going to reevaluate that and not lots of pictures please okay because pictures say a lot all right so that's going to be ready in four weeks time then we are going to do a retail role play every day from when you come back to work in Jan for 30 days straight, every single day. It is going to be a part of your roster. So I'm actually going to roster in and it's, uh, uh, by the way, I'm giving you 15 minutes. That's it. I'm rostering you 15 minutes a day and I'm going to at random book you in different therapist columns and you are going 
to sell something to that therapist in mm -hmm. role play form every day for 30 days. Okay. Do you agree with that? Are you willing to do that? Yes. Okay. I'm happy to do the first <laughs> three days of role plays with you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Then you're going to research for yourself and to speak to our brand partners yourself. You're going to come back to me with this information. You're going to book yourself on retail training mm -hmm. and you're going to book all brand retail training sessions. So you are welcome to go and research online communication courses, online retail courses, and come back to me and say, listen, I think this might help me. And, I, and then together, we'll have a look at it. But I want a commitment that by the end of January, this training is booked and that, okay. and that it has to be done in the first quarter of the year. Do you agree? Okay, yes. Could you help me with the telephone numbers? Which telephone numbers? Of the brand people. Yes, of course. Yeah, sure. Of course, yes. I, I'm on the group. Don't worry. Okay, cool. All right. Then I want you to call two clients every single day when you arrive for your shift. But here comes the but. I don't want you to book an appointment. I don't want you to sell them anything. I want you to phone them as if they are a friend and you are just having a one minute conversation to check up how they're doing. How does that sound to you? Mm. So it would be like, aha, Marisa, or hi, Anna, it's Marisa, how are you doing? Happy New Year. Can't wait to see you. I hope that your skin is looking great since I saw you the last time. So now you're phoning for relationship building just to see how they are and not to get them to book. How do you feel about that? Mm, it makes me anxious, but I'll, I'll give it a go because I need to do it part of my job okay so part of your job remember is to phone every single client so since you say it makes you anxious how about we move it from calling two clients a day to calling one a day for the first month okay okay and for the first and if this is only if you want because maybe i'll make you even more anxious for the first let's say week how about I make those phone calls and not you. So I'll do the first five phone calls. Yes. You watch me do them. So I'll phone your clients, okay? And then after those five phone calls, you take over and you do the next ones. And it's just for, for the first month, one a day. How do you feel about that? Um, okay. I, as long as I can sit with you to learn, yeah. that, I think that'll help me. Just, yes, I think that'll be okay. Sorry, yeah. I'm just using the blind because of the sun. Don't stress, don't stress. <clears throat> Okay, so with rebookings, what we're going to do with rebookings, because remember, this is really a remember thing. It's, it's not that you don't want to rebook them. You do, you just forget. So I know how to make you not forget. One is we add it to your KPIs. You are super pedantic about meeting your KPIs. So if I add rebookings into your KPIs, I know you won't forget because you know that you're being measured on it. So what I'd like to do two things. One is I'd like to add it to your KPIs, okay? Because so, remember, I redo KPIs every six months. I relook at them and see how, how to, you know, to shift you. <coughs> I want to give you an incentive of a thousand pounds if you rebook 50% of your clients every single month. How do you feel about that? Amazing. I could do it a thousand pounds. Okay. So please don't hold me to a thousand pounds every single month. This is your first incentive. <laughs> and, and why I say that is by the time you start rebooking everybody, okay, and it becomes habit for you, you're going to make your retail targets, okay, and you're going to start earning more money anyway that I'm not going to have to give you that incentive. But I just want to kickstart the process. So does that sound good to you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, cool. I can do it. Okay. Yes. I okay. can do this. Right, right. Then remember, I'm going to give you this plan. I have this, I'm going to print this out. You're going to keep it with you. And then you're going to bring this back together with your 2024 goal sheet. You're going to keep one and I'm going to keep the other one. Okay. So that we can so that we can track and, and measure all of this together. The last thing I want you to do, just very quickly, because you've got to get to a client's appointment. So you know your daily planner. 
that you post every morning. You're really good at that, okay? That's why I've said your work ethic is brilliant. What I'd like you to do is I want you to make a tweak to the planner. Mm -hmm. And instead of saying that I need um, f uh, 200 or f 100 pounds in services and 30 or 40 pounds in retail per client that comes in for that day, right? Because that's sort of how you measure yourself and that's your daily targets. Mm -hmm. I want you, you can keep the services one because there you are making your target. I want you to take the 30 pounds and I want you to break it down into actual product based on two things, the service you are performing and the customer that you're performing it on. So whether it's a man or lady mm -hmm. or and what service they are having. So just I just want to give you a quick example. So if I've booked in Marisa, you know I'm a lady and I've booked in for a facial, right? Yes. How can you how can you break up the retail targets with assumption? How can you do that? So in other words, instead of saying, I'm going to do 100 pounds in services, you know you're going to get that from my facial. How are you going to break down those 30 pounds? What product could you think Marisa having a facial would take home? So you tell me. Um, so you've, never, you've never seen me before? Let me tell you what you do know. You've never seen me before. I am a lady mm -hmm. and, and it is the middle of winter and everybody on planet England is complaining about how dry and freezing cold the weather is and how their skin is just so dry. So just based on that, I mean, you haven't even done your co consultation with me yet. How could you break down your planner to just tick your mindset over that you don't have a number in your head, not a 30 pounds in your head, but rather a product offering in your head? What could you do? Um, so I would then think about more luxurious, nourishing products for the skin. Mm. Okay. Yeah. What about a sleeping mask? What uh, about yes. a sleeping mask or like a really delicious oil or nice. um, what about a cleansing oil? A cleansing oil. Everybody has cleansing oils. Okay. So there you've hit the nail on the head now. So instead of saying 30 pounds, I want you to say 100 pounds in services. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to break it down. Cleansing oil, 12 pounds. Uh, nourishing uh, moisturizer, uh, 35 pounds. Done. Boom, boom, your target's done. So do you think you can do that? Make that tweak to your planner every morning where you're giving a little bit more of a strategy instead of just a number. Is that okay? Yes, and, and I also think because our products are a lot more expensive than that. I mean, the cleanser is like 48 pounds. Exactly. So you can get yes, to that. Yes, target. I can definitely get to it very quickly. Okay. All right, so and I think it sounds amazing. How do you feel? I'm excited for you. Yeah, I think it sounds more realistic and to breaking it down into bite sizes for me, I think is a very good idea because then I know I can do it if I, you know, if I have it focused in my mind that I have to meet the KPI and break it down, it, it just makes so much more sense to me. Thank you. Okay, Devon, so I hope... That, I mean, I'm not going to take, remember I said, I don't think I'm going to take away those feelings right now, but I hope that because you're more planned and more prepared, that you almost feel like, oh my gosh, I actually have a plan. I am going to do this. This is going to happen. Like, I hope that that's what you're feeling right now. Is it? Yeah. Yes. And can I come back to you? So if I don't, um, if I don't manage to do the sale properly, can I come back to you throughout the day and say, this is the clients I had, this is how I planned, sorry, this okay. is how I planned, this is the clients I had, and this is what I, where I went wrong or, or I yes. succeeded so that you can maybe just try help me adjust a little bit? Yes, but remember, if you come to me with this is where I failed, my first question back to you is going to be what? What do I always ask what? you back? I need to come with another solution. And what could you have done differently? If I keep giving you the solutions and are you never going to grow? So I want you to come to me with those examples. But at the same time, I want you to say what I could have done different is 
and then present it to me. And then I'll give you my input gladly after that. Sound good? Yes, thank you. That sounds okay, good. Okay, cool. Okay, so Anna, thank you for taking the time to fill in the form. I know that you are busy and I know that we've only had this 30 minutes to have this conversation, but I hope that it is that little 30 minute injection. I hope it felt like a vitamin D injection or an iron drip or whatever that's <laughs> given you a little bit of, of energy to see the end of this year through. And I look forward to in four weeks seeing that goal sheet of yours. Okay. Yes, I'm going to start that tonight for sure thank you divine okay thanks Anna thank you okay everyone so go into the chat box quickly and tell me how you felt about that just give me so Vera's asked what are KPIs thanks Anna for telling her so Vera KPIs are key performance indicators we've got a whole um section that we discuss key performance indicators and we give them to you. But basically, they are measures that you give your therapist. And they are continuously changing. And you agree on those KPIs with your team up front. And every six months, you change the KPIs. But they are a direct measure of each and every one of your team members. So we'll host another KPI session in the new year so you can get a little bit more input into that. Um, but that's what that is. So let me know, everyone, go into the chat box. Let me know what you thought about um, that review. Did it spark anything? Um, did you find it easy enough? Did you think, okay, that's not that difficult? Do you see the value in doing it at this time of year? So give me some feedback, everyone. And I really do help, hope that it helped you to make the commitment. Can you see how powerful this meeting could be? Just think about it. So you've got somebody that's feeling a little bit down in the dumps, anxious, exhausted. And this just gives them, it's a literal injection. That's what it is, okay? So Bianca says informative and helpful. I love how straight you are with your staff. <laughs> Great ideas and motivation. Achievable, easy enough, and it is a powerful tool. Okay. So really, team, tribe, you, you have to turn around and say to yourself, how do you want your year to start? And you decide that with what it is that you do over the next six weeks. You are going to decide how the year is going to start. Okay. Radio. So two more important reminders very quickly, and then we're going to log off. Some of you have already seen what I'm about to show you, but I'm going to show you anyway. Right. So I see the value. Liz is saying for the staff member, stressful from a time perspective at this time of year, though, for the employer. I agree with you. It is stressful for the employer at this time of year. However, think about how that staff member feels with that injection. They are going to perform much better than what they would have performed if you as an employer just take the time out to have that little session with them. Okay. I love your energy, Marisa. Oh, sweet. Danielle and I have so much respect for your business style. Such a boss lady. <laughs> Definitely a powerful tool to motivate staff, encourage them to be more hands-on with services and retail. Achievable, powerful tool. It's powerful, but I'll need to put my head down and think about how I'm going to do it. Okay, Vera. Well, if you need any guidance and help, reach out to me. I'm right there to help you. Okay. Okay, everyone. So just quickly, I want to know, and you don't have to answer in the chat box, a very quick, how would you feel if you had a marketing planner every single month to guide you and give you ideas? Okay. I know... It's a question that I get asked every single month by most of our brand partners, as well as our consulting clients is, can you help me with marketing ideas? Do you have anybody that can help me with my marketing or with my social media? How would you feel if you had great copy that's already been written with hashtags for your social posts? How would you feel if you had guidance on which special observance days you could do different initiatives to boost revenue and client retention and acquisition. And then the best part is how would you feel if you had more time, more money and less stress? I'm sure that would be amazing, right? Of course, yes. Okay, so to help you with this, there's a special edition. Um, it's a December and a January 
we've done the marketing planner for December and Jan for you. So you just need to scan the QR code and this is going to help you look after December and Jan. So for those of you who know this calendar, because there's quite a few on here who are making use of it, so well done. And I know it's helping you so much because you get wording every single day on what to post. So the content is right there. You just really need to tweak it to suit your own business. Okay, right. New Year's resolutions. We're getting close to that. And remember, I said to you, I'm going to make you think January. And I know you've got lots of them, right? From a business perspective. So Vera is saying, I'm going to think what is KPIs? How am, I, how am I going to do this? So I've got a very important resolution for all of you to make, and that is to join our global business growth community at Spa Professionals Guild. So instead of breaking down those New Year's resolutions into, I want to start KPIs, I want to do this, I want to do that, but joining our community, the rest, and it's literally what I've put on the slide, the rest will happen from there. Because as you join our community, you get the ideas and that is how you grow, right? Okay, so I just want to motivate you. Um, this year, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. You can scan the QR code and go there. But really, um, we've got our elite membership, which is the one that gives you access to all of these templates, um, to the coaching sessions. You also, we've added in there a one-on-one -on -one with me every year. So you get to pick my brain once a year. Um, you also get 50% off any additional tools and templates that we sell as members. And you get access to hundreds. There's probably over three or 400 templates and tools in our library. Okay, this is just to quickly fly through here. I'm not even going to go through it, but it's um, all the information pockets that you can go to look for information or templates. So there's one on staff, there's one on human resources, one on operations, one on marketing and sales, one on social media, one on revenue management. And that is it all. I want to leave you with one very powerful thought today is you have 86,000 seconds in a day. It sounds so much, right? And how quickly do our days go by? How many of you feel the end of the day, oh, no ways. I actually can't believe it. Okay. 86,000 seconds in a day. So we hope that you're going to spend some of those seconds with us and allowing me to guide you in your businesses and to guide your, your growth path with you and your team. Okay, everyone. So before you hop off, I am going to stop sharing my screen. I'd like you all to show your video to take one little picture, please. I want to see all of your beautiful faces. Oh, divine. I hope that this really helped you. Michelle, I know that you're super busy. So I really hope that this gave you a little bit of an injection for you. Um, and a little bit of, I don't know, motivation and inspiration that as busy as you are to, I hope that I gave you that injection boost that I'm saying these sessions give you for your staff. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Good. Okay. Anybody else? Can you show your camera, everyone? I would love to take a picture of all of you. Let me put my hair down, even though I'm boiling here. Yeah. Phew. This is real. Hello, Lena. Okay, everyone. Can I have a big smile? Cheers. Divine. Okay, everyone. Have the best end of year and go and make the magic. Go and have your staff reviews. And um, we've got some very exciting things planned for January. I'm not allowed to disclose now. There's actually quite a major change but I'm only going to announce it in Jan because we're getting ourselves ready from a back-end perspective. Um, and there is a massive wow start to, to the year. So I look forward to seeing you all in the new year and go and have the best December ever, okay? Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Good. I'm so glad you loved it. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Ciao, ciao. <clears throat>